to our weekly environmental news report. First news. Scientists in Europe have discovered a caterpillar that has an unusual ability to digest plastic. The waxworm, a caterpillar used for fishing bait, is able to break down the chemical bonds in polyethylene, a widely produced plastic used in packaging and bags. Federica Bertocini, a scientist with the Spanish National Research Council, accidentally discovered the larva's ability years ago as an amateur beekeeper when she plucked several worms out of her beehives and kept them in a plastic bag. After finding that the worms had chewed holes in the bags, she contacted the University of Cambridge. The researchers are currently trying to isolate the mystery enzyme that is responsible for breaking down the plastic. A U.S. Geological Survey released Wednesday shows that Glacier National Park's 37 glaciers have shrunk about 40% since 1966. Daniel Farge, the leader of the study, said it is now inevitable that all of those glaciers will disappear within decades. Rising temperatures and changes in precipitation patterns are the primary causes for the eroding glaciers in the area and elsewhere along the Rocky Mountains. In fact, Montana is warming nearly twice as quickly as the global average. On a global scale, the world's glaciers have lost around 400 billion tons of ice per year since 1994, which has impacted wildlife, increased wildfire risk, and contributed to rapid sea level rise. The Dakota Access Pipeline in the U.S. has already suffered a small leak before even being fully operational, spilling 84 gallons of crude oil at a South Dakota pump station. The April leak was just uncovered this week, outraging indigenous groups who have long warned that the project poses a threat to the environment. Although the spill was minor and quickly cleaned, opponents of the pipeline suggest that the seepage proves there could be more severe problems in the future. But under Trump's administration, the project recently completed construction and is in the final stages of preparing to transport oil. A team of Australian scientists has designed miniature ecosystems that simulate the impact of climate change. Dr. Ivan Nagelkerkin, an ecologist at the University of Adelaide, and his colleagues filled 12 pools with 475 gallons of seawater apiece and built simple ocean ecosystems in each one, stocking them with local species of crustaceans and small predatory fish. To test the effects of climate change, the team heated up the water and pumped in carbon dioxide, and found that the combination wiped out invertebrate populations, which in turn rearranged the other layers of the food web. Dr. Nagelkerkin hopes that these studies will prompt other researchers to replicate them with species and conditions from other parts of the world. In recent years, there have been growing concerns about technology invading national parks, as drones are becoming increasingly popular in wilderness areas and wildlife habitats. According to a study published last week, the clamor of drones, smartphones, music speakers, and other tech gadgets that hikers can carry is contributing to damaging noise pollution, which is already widespread in U.S. protected areas. Research further indicates that drones and unnatural noises make it harder for wildlife to perceive natural sounds, making communication and survival more difficult. In addition, the presence of technology in national parks not only disturbs wildlife, but also other visitors who simply want to relax in a peaceful environment. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Thank you.